welcome today we're looking at a really beautiful game with some wonderful combinations um, by susan parker in some really beautiful attacking chess um, and some of these moves are really really beautiful um, in fact there's three brilliant moves in this game uh, let's see if you can spot them before we come to them um, but this was from 1985 when Susan Polgar was playing against Peter Hardicacy, who was a international master. Um, now, I'm not sure if I pronounced his name correctly. I hope I did. Uh, but we see in this game, we get uh, the Benoni defense. We get d4, knight of 6, c4, c5, d5, e6, knight c3, e takes, uh, d5, c takes d5, d6, knight of 3, g6, and then bishop to f4. Now, if you play the Benoni defense, this is a position that you're very well aware of. So then we get a6 by Peter, and we'll go with the first name, <laughs> uh, e4, then bishop g7, and then we get queen a4 check by Susan Polgar here, which is not the main, uh, main move in theory, uh, but it forces your opponent to make a decision. Um, of course, if you go with b5, well then you fall into this really nice bishop at b5 check, and you can't take because if you take, you lose a rook. So uh, that's not an option. So Peter decides to go to bishop to d7, kicking out the knight, or kicking out the queen rather. Uh, queen uh, goes back to b3. Then we get bishop to g4, um, and then we get queen to b7, taking the pawn. Um, but is it a poison pawn? Well, this is the question we have to find out. So then Peter goes, uh, bishop takes the knight on f3, and then we get queen takes rook on a8, followed by knight to e4. Now, what move would you play in this position? What's the best defensive move? And it's quite hard to find, at least it was for me anyway. Um, but Susan Polka plays beautifully here and goes rook to c1. Now, why is rook to c1 such an important move? Well, um, if you had thought that the best move here was to take this pawn, or this pawn to take the bishop instead of playing rook to c1, uh, well, this is why that's not good, because this is probably what he was expecting uh, Susan Parker to do, because that means he can take, and then once the pawn takes, your bishop forks both the king and the rook, and you pick up the rook for free. Uh, but Susan instead of brings, uh, protects, doubly protects the knight, but also moves the rook off of the square for the fork. Then we get, uh, in the game, we get bishop to d4, who is now attacking twice with the knight and the bishop, this pawn on. Uh, f2. So then Susan plays rook to c2, then knight takes f2, rook takes f2, bishop takes f2, and king takes f2. So then we get, after this, uh, obviously you have to move away the bishop, moves back to uh, bishop g4. Now, if you're looking at this, what can you see? Well, now you've got an open pathway to the king who is not castled yet. So what move can you do here? And this is the first brilliant move in the game. Can you see what the brilliant move is? Feel free to pause the game if you can't see. Uh, but this is a really beautiful move because if you can get this bishop out of the way, well, this rook can then come to this file. So Susan Polgar plays the wonderful move, bishop to b5, checking the king, and giving scope for the rook to come here. So uh, Peter Hardixie has to take uh, with the A pawn. Doesn't have to take, but decides to take the free piece, which is a dreadful error because then we get rook to E1 check. And after rook to E1 check, uh, the king's only got two spaces that he can go. And in the game, the king went to F8. Um, now, why did Peter go to f8? Well, if you went to d7, we get this sequence here. Can you see what it is? It ends up with you winning, winning the queen, uh, the black queen, because you get um, queen to c7 check, 
only move is to block with the queen and then you go rook check on e7 king takes the rook you win the queen and the game is all over so that's obviously the reason why uh, he went to uh, f8 once he went to f8 though we see this move here bishop to h6 check and now the king is forced into its only square of defense which is in g8 and here we're going to see our second brilliant move now take a moment to see here because this is truly beautiful attacking chess wonderful combinations in this game by susan Pulgram. have you seen it can you see what it is uh, if you saw it, you've done very well because it is the truly magnificent rook to e7 now rook to e7 is truly brilliant because you're giving up the rook for free but you can't take it and why can you not take it because if you do you get queen then follows up by taking on b8 and it's made in two because you can block with the bishop and then wherever you block with the queen it's going to be checkmate so in the game instead after rook e7 you get bishop to d7 and what uh, so we looked at what would happen so we get d7 and then can you see our third and final brilliant move in the game now this is outrageously good if you can see this i mean your rating is pretty high because this i would never do this in a real game i can't imagine ever doing this in a real game susan Polgar plays the outrageous the magnificent the wonderful queen to b8 taking the knight brilliant move and after the queen plays b8 can you see the move which susan parker played which forced her opponent to resign on the next move can you find it again the combinations here is outrageous and by susan parker um, and the wonderful move here is knight to e4 and Peter Harsey just resigned here because there is absolutely nothing that you can do to stop the forced checkmate this square is covered this square is covered the knight is coming here you cannot do anything to stop the knight from getting there if he just went bishop uh, to f5 that's checkmate really wonderful game uh, with beautiful attacking chess by Susan Polger and uh, yeah, one of the best games that she has played. She's played some many fine games with three brilliant moves uh, in a 21-22 move miniature of beautiful attacking combinations. This is why we all play chess, to have a game like this. Uh, I appreciate you watching, and if you've enjoyed, please give a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.